today's video, we are going to be talking about popular OAP, Daddy Freeze, and the adultery scandal that he has been rocked with. And just like most of our videos, talking about Daddy Freeze and the adultery scandal is not an end to itself. It is merely a means to an end. What do I mean? I mean we're not just going to be discussing for the purpose, the sole purpose of entertainment. Of course, we're going to have a good gist. What's another video without some gist? Yes, but not just for entertainment purposes. We're going to be getting some enlightenment and discussing the law's position. Ifedayo or Larry Nde is a Nigerian broadcaster and of course, an on-air personality. He has several years of experience. While studying at the university, it is said that Daddy Freeze met and fell in love with a girl called Okweyemi. Okweyemi had recounted that Daddy Freeze was her first love, her first attraction, her first heartbeat, her first everything. And so they fell in love and they got married and then they had two kids, a boy and the girl. Unfortunately, Daddy Freeze's marriage was not happily ever after as he may have anticipated or as they may have anticipated. A few years down the line, in 2014, they got engulfed in one of the messiest divorces ever. Okwe had alleged that Daddy Freeze was not only an adulterer but that he was a violent and abusive man. In an interview she had with Bella Niger, she revealed, and I quote, I am still in court with him. Our divorce is not final. We have not even had a trial. The issue now is that the last time we went to court, the judge wanted to speak to our children as they were also involved in the abuse. My son has a kneecap that was broken when he tried to cover me when his father was beating me. He is just learning how to walk properly again and started playing football in January. A lot has happened and I've kept quiet because I do not know how to handle this. I kind of saw all of this coming though because when I was leaving, he threatened me that if I left, he will destroy me on social media because he has the power to do so as I am nothing and he is everything and there was no way I was going to survive without him. On how her kids or their kids are coping with the whole separation, she said, we went on holiday to an African country and when we got back, the first thing my daughter said to me was, mommy, I'm so glad that this is the house we came back to and not VI. That's where they used to live with Daddy Freeze. This is the situation where there was abuse every day. A year before I left, I had to stay in the marriage and be called Benedicta. Uh -uh. Benedicta is the name of the new woman that Daddy Freeze got married to. But hold on, we're going to get there. I have enough evidence with my lawyers that will show all the abuse I went through. He cursed my son for covering me up while he was hitting me. My kids are in a much better place now and are happy. He used to beat me and put her on speakerphone. <laughs> That's the new wife. And say, look, I am beating her and she has refused to leave. And then the lady on the other end of the phone would scream at me to get out of the house. But I did not have anywhere to go. This is pathetic. If it really did happen, I had no exit strategy. But at the end of the day, I had to leave because if I had died, that is how the story would have ended. On why Daddy Freeze was doing what he was doing, she responded, he was born into an abusive family, so I sort of understood where he was coming from. That was one of the reasons why I stayed so long. Even when people asked why I stayed with him when I was admitted into the hospital in 2006. I told them that this is someone that I basically grew up with. There was so much we had ahead of us, so I wasn't going to walk out on him. If not for my kids, I can assure you that I would have still stayed and he would have 
killed me. So they went through the divorce. It was concluded. She got primary custody of the two children. And then they all relocated out of Nigeria. Daddy Freeze had even taken to social media to lament that his ex-wife absconded with their children without his knowledge or his authority or his permission. She just disappeared and relocated without seeking his consent. He said that he hadn't set his eyes on their children for seven whole years. This year would make it the eighth year and that if he came across his children on the road, he definitely would walk by because he doesn't even remember. He doesn't even know how they look presently. So sadly, that was how the marriage between Daddy Freeze and Okwe came to an end. And so he moved on. Yes, he sure did. And now he was fully dating, or can we say now dating, a certain lady called Benedicta. Remember that when Okwe Daddy Freeze's wife was giving her own story. She said that Daddy Freeze used to beat her and call a certain Benedicta on the phone for her to listen while he beats the wife. Telling the Benedicta that look at I'm beating her, I'm doing everything to make her go and she is not leaving. And that he had been dating this Benedicta even during the course of their marriage. Now that is an allegation that I cannot verify or confirm those are Okwe's words. So Daddy Freeze moved on with Benedicta. Benedicta is a professional chef. She is the MD CEO of Taste Buds Real Niger Cooking as well as Diktachi Foods Nigeria Limited. Benedicta was previously married. She was married to one Mr. Paul Odekina and they had three children together. When Benedicta's elder sister passed, she adopted his niece, making her technically a mother of four. Ten years, ten years after being married to Mr. Paul, I mean Benedicta, they got a divorce. Benedicta accused her ex-husband of domestic violence as well as bisexuality. Hmm, my God. She left her husband for domestic violence and then married a man who stands accused by his ex-wife of domestic violence while the man himself also claims that he was a victim of domestic violence <laughs> this domestic violence that you people are sharing everywhere there is god oh. there is god in everything we do oh. so benedicta left port Harcourt. she relocated from river state where she was based with her husband and children and moved to lagos the city where Daddy Freeze is resident and she moved on with Daddy Freeze. So before we move on, let us read very briefly what Benedicta said about her marriage with her ex-husband, Mr. Paul. She said, I filed for a divorce from him because of his sexual perversion and there is a point where you get to as a human being when you realize that something or what your aim is, is never going to work. Because I signed a contract to marry him, I believed that I was marrying a man that shared the same type of sexuality with me. Don't get me wrong. I do not have issues with people that have different sexual orientations. But when you come and say you want to get into a marriage contract with someone, you both have to share the same sexual orientation. So when you get into that marriage and find out it wasn't what you bargained for. It's like you were tricked into the marriage. The marriage is a sham. For example, we got married in 2002. I filed for a divorce in 2012. For the period of 10 years that we were married, we actually had sexual intercourse just 11 times in 10 years. Wow. He never lets me sleep in his room. I have to stay in my own room. He would only come to see me when he thinks that we should make a baby. Way into the marriage, I caught him red-handed in gay sex. I walked into him in our living room at about 1.30, 1.40 a.m. with a guy I didn't really know, but he obviously walked in with that person at that time of the night and I walked into them in our living room. She went ahead to say a couple more other stuff, 
But she concluded by saying, the pain that I went through is real and it can only take a lifetime to forget. She also accused him of domestic violence and released medical reports, released evidence to show that her husband or her ex-husband did put his hands on her. <sighs> so Benedicta and Daddy Freeze proceeded to have a son. They had a son in 2015 whom they named Jason. And then a few years after their baby came, they took the bold step to solidify their union. They had a private cozy wedding ceremony all the way in the UK. And celebrity pastor, Pastor Toby, was the best man at that beautiful ceremony. So while Daddy Freeze and Benedicta were getting married and taking vows and falling in love all over again, trouble was brewing. Mr. Paul Odekino, the former husband of Benedicta, Mr. Freeze's new wife, had dragged Daddy Freeze to court, accusing him of committing adultery with his wife. No, 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 no. Not after the marriage ended. Mr. Paul was alleging and asserting in court that during the subsistence of the marriage that he had with Benedicta, Daddy Freeze and his wife Benedicta were having sexual relations. This action was instituted at the High Court sitting in River State and after much deliberations, evidence, affidavit and counter affidavit, examination of witnesses and cross-examinations, the court reached a decision. On February 18, 2021, the High Court gave verdict that Daddy Freeze was indeed guilty of committing adultery with Mr. Paul's wife, Benedicta, and slammed him with a fine, slammed him with 5 million naira in damages to be paid to Mr. Paul for sleeping with his wife. <laughs> Dissatisfied with that verdict, Daddy Freeze challenged that judgment and took the case, appealed the judgment to a higher court the Court of Appeal. And after three years of hearing this case, you know, and a new set of judges would hear it just in case there is a no poll, just in case there is a part that the court with lower jurisdiction missed out on or failed to take account of. And so they did. The trial at the Court of Appeal held and it took three years to come to a conclusion. And just a few days ago, the Court of Appeal reached a verdict and no, the decision of the lower courts was not overturned. It was upheld by the Court of Higher Jurisdiction. The Court of Appeal once again found Daddy Freeze guilty as charged and mandated him to pay the 5 million naira in damages to Benedicta's ex-husband.